I bet the song, oops, we did it again, it must be playing 100 Motorsports right now. So, we had multiple planets coming out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, so we had multiple things come out today in NASCAR penalty-wise. Oh, boy. Um, there's just so much. I need to get go ahead and get a reaction here. Up there. First thing, we had the appeal for Denny Hamlin in his 25 championship points and $50,000 fine for intentionally wrecking Ross Chastain at Phoenix. Oh, no. NASCAR didn't say he did this. He went on fucking social media on his podcast and said, Yep, I wrecked him. I purposely did. I let go of the steering wheel and drove him into the wall because I knew I was going to the back and he was coming with me. Why would you do that, Denny? Oh, my God. Why? So, yeah. So, we had that. So, his 25 points and his $50,000 fine stands. The appeal committee decided that today. Um, the three appeal members were Mr. Hunter Nickel, Mr. Dale Penis, Penalis, and Miss Lynn St. James, former driver. Oh, so if that wasn't a fun news today, and then recently we were given the information, some L1 penalties. So, in addition to the, oh, so we're going to get to that one. Um, so, in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, the following penalties, L1 penalties, were handed out this past weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. The number two, Rev Racing Team. The number four, Kyle Busch Motorsports. And the number 51, Kyle Busch Motorsports. Rev Racing, if you don't know, is literally a third team for KBM, but owned by Rev Racing. It's all KBM employees that work on it. We're all found to be in violation of section 14-3-3-3.2.C, engine oil reserve tank encasement. Uh, section 14.9.3.2, CNG, engine oil reserve tank, and 14.9A, Assembled Vehicle Overall Rules. As a result of these infractions, all three teams have been docked 10 championship owner points. And Nick Sanchez, Chase Purdy, and Jack Wood have all been docked 10 championship driver points. In addition to the three L1 penalties in the truck series, two NASCAR members have been handed indefinite suspension by the sanctioned body for violation of the sports substance abuse policy. Jeff Shore and Ronald... Wilson are two members that were listed as being in violation of Section 4.1 and 10.1a of the NASCAR rulebook. And if that was not enough, Hendrick Motorsports issues NASCAR issues Hendrick Motorsports two L1 penalties for the number 24 driven by William Byron and the number 48 driven by Hendrick Motorsports or Alex Bowman in the post Richmond inspection. So we all know. Those two cars were taken back to the R&D Center. NASCAR has issued the L1 penalties to 24 and to 48. Um, let's see here. The two cars were... Oh, hold on, let me get back to the, where the this penalty. There's so much going on here. All right, so the two cars were just... Had 100 points in the tent restored after the L2 penalty. Now will be docked 60 driver points, 60 owner points, and 5 playoff points each for the latest infraction. Additionally, the teams will be fined $75,000 each, and crew chiefs Brian Campy and Greg Ives will be suspended for two NASCAR Cup Series events beginning after this weekend at Bristol due to the late notice. According to the NASCAR's penalty report, the number 24 and the number 48 were found to be in violation of Section 14. 1D overall assembly vehicle rules 14.1.2.B engineering change log and 14.5.6B greenhouse of the NASCAR rulebook. Both teams are in the middle of having their primary crew chief Rudy Frugal and Blake Harris suspended for races from Phoenix. Frugal and Harris are eligible to return to the pit box after this week's race at Bristol. Hendrick Motorsports released a statement. In the form of a tweet following the news of the penalties, the statement reads, We are reviewing the penalty issues today by NASCAR and will determine next steps following Sunday's race at Bristol. Okay, so basically the long and short of this, NASCAR Greenhouse. The modification of the Greenhouse. 
I literally had to Google this shit to find out the fuck they were talking about. Excuse my language. So apparently the greenhouse has something to do with the wiper assembly and the way the wipers are attached for the wet weather package. Oh, God. Um, so, let's start at the top. Dan Hamlin. He should have, that penalty should have stayed. I'm glad it did. Um, you don't go on social media and go, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. No, you don't do that. Um, as for KBM, ooh, that's... You don't do shit. I mean, don't fuck with shit. I mean, whatever. I'm not sure exactly what they changed, messed with, modified, or whatever. But it's just enough to go, hey, guys, don't need to be doing that. I mean, KBM is too, power, too, big of an or, good, too good of an organization for that kind of stuff. Henry Motorsports. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's $540,000 in penalties in the last three weeks, four weeks. As for... The L2 penalties getting overturned, or at least the points returned, and the fine and everything sticking. If there's an issue with the parts, when the parts come in, if that's the issue, okay, I get it. But we know Colic had the same issue with one versus all of the ones for Hendrick. And like Chris Ray said, we didn't modify it. So that means the part came in that way, and that penalty was dropped from 100 points to 75 points. They are doing the second appeal process, which goes to one member. Um, everyone's been complaining on XM Satellite Radio and on Twitter that the idea of the appeal co uh, committee doesn't work. I beg to differ. No one was complaining last August when Jeremy Clemens was DQ was uh, fined because of his motor being too small and not passing an inspection when he took it to the R&D center like he was supposed to, and his wind taken away, appealed it and got his wind back because it actually hurt him versus helping him. No, I don't remember people complaining about that committee. When William Byron, after the fact, NASCAR penalized him for spending Denny Hamlin, ironically, under caution, he was penalized after the words, his fine was doubled, his points was given back. I don't remember a lot of people complaining about the committee changing it. I remember people com com complaining about NASCAR going after the fact and doing it. But I just, I, I don't know what to think about Henry Motorsports right now. I mean, you just got a 100-point penalty back, and then this happens. Now, if this was an oversight, if this was, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's clear cut. Don't fuck with these cars, and yet we keep fucking with shit. Um, I don't know which is worse: Henry Motorsports getting penalized again those two cars, or Dean Hamlin running his mouth on his podcast about taking people out. I love when he actually takes out uh, uh, JJ Gilly and spins him. His reaction is, oh, "I didn't do it on purpose." Well, duh, you ain't dumb. You're a smart fucking guy, dude. You're not gonna just admit to start taking people out. I know I've seen some stuff on Twitter as well about the five and the tw the uh, nine. They won the race, first and second. First and second gets tore down immediately. So we remember Pocono last year. We had the 11 and the 18 DQ'd in post-race inspection because that piece of tape. And Jay Sellett was awarded the victory. So yeah, first and second are tore down at the track, just like these two cars were tore down at the R&D Center. So the 9 and the 5 were cleared at the track. So... I'm a Hendrick Motorsports fan. I, I have been for a long time as a Jeff Gordon fan. Chase L.A. fan. And Kyle's okay. i um, never been an Alex Bowman fan. 24 fan, so I like, kind of like William Byron a little bit. But I don't know what's going on with Hendrick Motorsports right now. But guys, this this is horrible. I mean, it's a bad look for, for Hendrick Motorsports, to be honest with you. And honestly, with the penalty getting overturned, or the points getting sent back for Hendrick's cars last week, and then... Colleague, not. I don't think it's a black eye on the sport because NASCAR has been fair. L2 penalty equals $100,000 fine, 100 point penalty, four weeks suspension for your crew chief. That's 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 standard. That's the L2 penalty. The fact that the appeals committee has changed has modified it. That's between the appeals committee and what NASCAR wants to do going forward. I know back in the day. You've heard people talk about this. Chocolate Myers just talked about this on Trading Paint. Bill France Sr. and Bill France Jr., they were... It's the law. Um, what I think NASCAR needs to do, 
just my opinion, is they need to have the appeals committee, yes, because, I mean, you want somebody else to look at it. But you need to write whatever contract they have with the appeals committee, then Motorsports Appeals Committee or whatever it actually is called. You need to have a contract that says, okay, it's either all or nothing. No modification, no more. So either you uphold the penalty we gave them, or you wipe it out completely. Because the modification thing, I think, is kind of... I just don't understand how it works. It's people that know the score. That's what gets me. There's One of the committees had Lynn St. James on it. One of the committees had Bill Lester on it. Um, the one that had Bill Lester gave back all the points. The one that has Lynn St. James on it has, one, modified the points, and two, did not, and didn't change anything. So I don't know if that affects it or not. I, I do want to say the people that I've seen her call in NASCAR Satellite Radio and they went on Twitter, no, I don't believe Henry Motorsports paid off the committee. Here's what would happen. So it's a random three people that are picked. So what Henrik would have to do, get the list of 20 people they have. We've all seen the list. That's not hard. Go to each person and say, okay, if you hear this appeal, here's a million dollars or whatever to uh, side in our favor. I'll give you $2 million if you're actually on the committee, or whatever it is. I'll give you a million dollars regardless. So you tell 20 people this. I'm going to pay you to do this for us. So there's 20 people that know what's going on. Now, obviously, Jeff Gordon will be the one handling everything and making the phone calls and stuff, so that, if that were the case. So he knows. Chad Canales, I think, is his right-hand man, so Chad would know. Mr. H had to sign off on it, so Mr. H would know. The accountant would have to actually pay these people... So he, they, he or she would know. So if you look at it, about 25 people would know this information. You're telling me one of those 25 people wouldn't go, hmm, hmm, I'm going to make me a fake Twitter account. I'm going to blab this all out there. I can't get in trouble for it. Who's going to know it me? I'll get my money, and I'll blow the whistle. People, it's not going to happen. I don't believe Henry Motorsports pay these people off. I don't personally believe, I don't I don't want to believe that Henry Motorsports was was not given a penalty because they've been in the sport for so long. That they have a track record in the sport. And they, that colleague doesn't. I, I don't want to believe that. I, I don't want to believe that NASCAR is singling out Henry Motorsports. I don't believe they are. Do I think the cars going to the R&D Center after Richmond was random? No, I don't believe it was. I think it was Henrik won, so first and second, so <laughs> we're tearing those down. Let's take the other two back and tear them down. Let's get a better look at what's going on here, because we, I don't say NASCAR had egg on their face from what happened before with the, with the other penalty getting overturned, but I think it was kind of a, huh, that's weird. Let's see if we can find something that'll stick. Um, but hey, you know what? NASCAR has the right. Because it is NASCAR sanctioned race to take every one of those cars back to the R&D Center and tear them apart. Matter of fact, I want to see them do that one week. But oh lord, the penalties that could come out from that and the uproar that NASCAR Nation would have. Oh dear God, I don't want to hear. I do actually want to hear that because I think it'd be funny. But also, I'm a pro wrestling fan, so... I find things interesting myself. I think NASCAR is, is almost to the point, or at the point right now. NASCAR is like pro wrestling. 90% opinion, 10% fact. The facts are, this is what happened. The, the opinion part comes, well, I don't think that it was done intentionally. I personally don't think that Henry Motorsports was given a leeway because they're Henry Motorsports. Did Henry Motorsports modify the parts? We don't know. Did Colic modify the parts? We don't know. The committee believes that Henry did, and they said this so much. Henry says they didn't. Colic, Chris Wright of Colic Racing says they didn't. That they they uh, they have communication between the crew chiefs, team, everybody in, in Colic Racing, the guys, the women, the men, men and women that work Colic Racing. No, you do not fuck with a single source part. But obviously they did. something happened to this hoodlover. 
I like how Chris Rash brings up that Henry actually borrowed hood louvers from him for the for the race. I thought that was kind of funny myself, but you know. Oh, a lot went down today in the news, um, but that is my reaction to everything. Boy, oh boy, the morning drag tomorrow is going to be fun. I bet Speedway right now is a hoot. Matter of fact, let's see if we can actually get through the NASCAR radio or if they are on. Uh... It actually rang. Impressive. I'm surprised they're not on hold. You're not fucking in the busy signal we call right now. That's what I should do one of these days. Call into Dave and do it li do it live. <laughs> Literally just call in the yo Dave, this is what's going on and record it. That'd be pretty badass. But uh I don't know. But anyway, so that's my thoughts on the penalties this week and today. I will get the preview of Bristol up soon, but there's been so many penalties it's hard. Also, if you're an XFL fan, I got week eight coming soon. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.